Hey there, my name is Neandra. Welcome to Mercy Commentary VOD where I play competitive, then talk about my plays and mistakes. This is Nepal at around 4000 SR, it's a short win, and these are my final stats. This is one of my Roll Cube beta placements, and I'm really excited to show it because I was super happy with my performance. I love reviewing these types of VODs because I end up finding a ton of mistakes anyway, and I don't know, it's nice to remember that you don't have to play perfectly to feel good about your performance, or even win. I also trusted our Anna a lot this game, and I think I played much better because of it. I'm gonna position in this left side area for a bit, and in the corner of my eye I can see Franny Wrecking Ball to my right on point. I could have maybe healed him by positioning here, but I left it to Anna instead. You know, all the time I say that I love playing an aggressive Mercy, but lately I've noticed that a lot of my deaths are caused by me positioning poorly, trying to heal an ally who is very far forward, or just not in a place I can safely play in. As soon as I get near point, I take a lot of damage, so I intentionally fall very far back, far enough that my beam breaks off Rhine. I did this because I wanted health regen behind cover, and our Anna, again who I'm trusting, is on the left with him in view. Get this, Let's uh, get you back in the Sigma guy. A second okay. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. Oh, oh shit, no, I traded, it's fine. I abandon Asymmetra pretty eagerly. The thing is, I was positioned here while enemies were coming from here, and I had no fly pass to this area where there was at least some cover. What I could have maybe done is super jump off Asymmetra and use Angelic Descent to get here by myself where I could fall back while still helping her. Yo, boss, Sick one, boss, one, boss, one, one, boss, one. Yo, yeah, CPO, get right in enemy, get right in enemy. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I'm dead, Heroes please. never die. There are heroes with low enough DPS that you can res in front of them, but I don't know Sigma well enough to make the decision. I know his left click has high damage with downtime between shots, but I didn't want to risk it. I peek out Widow Corpse and realise Valkyrie's running out. I don't want to be stuck in this area with a long ranged hero, so I leave it. That being said, if Widow had grappled onto here after being revived, I could have flown to her and slingshotted myself back to our side, and it actually might have been okay. If the res on Anna was viable, what I could have done was fly to the corpse, spin my camera view around so I had a fly path past the wall, and then go to them after it was done. See that Symmetra turret there? Probably should have called it out, maybe something like Sim turret above you guys, center of point. I'm really happy with my general movement during this fight, and I gotta say, huge props to our Anna for enabling me with her consistent healing. Hey, did you guys know that this is a one even appear on the career profile after? A little fun fact for you. What? I seem a little zoned out here. I definitely could have gone over to Symmetra a few seconds earlier, and it looks like I missed out on some damage boost because of it. Let's grab the health kit so Anna doesn't have to turn her camera away from point. I fly towards our Symmetra corpse to res, and at no point do I cancel it, so I bump into their Baptiste and get hit by a turret. The only thing I can think of is maybe I got overwhelmed by all the stuff that's on screen. Anyway, I panic ult for health regeneration and movement control, and you can see I'm flustered by the few seconds where my beam is not on anyone. So yeah, this isn't a great Valkyrie, but as I said, it was done in panic. I take some pistol shots, but my ult's still active, so I'm not going to get ult charge from it, and we're at 99%, so I have no reason to stall. I immediately fall back, because I don't want to feed enemy healers or enemies in general. They have no healers. They have no healers. They're hurt sending. Widow used ult, and I didn't see where she was, so this res was kind of risky, but it's still super sick, and I'm really proud of it. Yeah. Sure it's okay. well, our Anna dies, which means I have to position on point to heal our tanks. Enemy Winston goes for me, and I don't mention him until I'm dead, because I just drop so quickly. If Ryan had been able to charge him, that would have bought me some time, but he was facing away from Winston, and again, I dropped so quick. Handy little tip, if you hold down your interact key as you approach the teleporter, you'll go through it as soon as you're in range. No jump on monkey. Yes, primal. Yeah, I'm going to point. Can you nano me? Oh. Ready. I'm not there, but I'm dead now. Good monkey. I 
take a tiny bit of damage and intentionally ignore the health kit because with my position I trust Mercy's health regeneration to cover it, plus I don't want to waste a large one on 40 health. I res our Widow with Q Hell down for immediate Valkyrie activation once it's over. You know what, let's not talk about how delayed my reaction on that melee is. My Valkyrie beam is tethered to Reinhardt, who charges into the cave. Now, for an ally to get the effects of Valkyrie, they need to be within 10 meters of whoever Mercy's got her beam on. Because of the charge, Symmetra here is not getting healed, despite being attacked by two enemies and squishier. Sim dies, and she may not have had to if I was quicker. Anna was in the corner and could have healed her too, but my healing might have bought Symmetra some more time, especially when Moira's damage is 50 per second while Valk's healing is 60. Also, briefly during that fight, I was holding down heal mode on our fully healthed Reinhardt, who was getting swings in, so that's some damage amplified missed, especially with Anna covering us. Therefore, I'm gonna take this hit seriously. I've realised my recording software didn't pick up my in-game voice this match, but I let our Reinhardt know he split off from the team, that no one is with him. Here you can see Winston go behind, presumably to the health kit, as I spin my camera away. I guess I didn't notice because I don't call it out or flip my view behind me to look out for him. Behind. Behind. Anna then calls it out and I push forward to the rest of my teammates, which I think is fine because she has McCree with her. When you have two main healers and the team is split into two, you usually don't want both with the same group. My decision worked out fine anyway, I kept the rest of the team healed while Anna and McCree, both of which I feel are good against Winston, dealt with him effectively. Our McCree's to the right of point being sneaky, so I don't want to go over to damage boost him. I zone out and mindlessly flick damage boost randomly between the short range characters in front of me, while our Anna to the left is repeatedly taking shots. I even boost our Reinhardt who's holding up his shield while he's missing like 10 HP. Anna then calls out her ult charge and it could well have been at 100 or close if I had put more thought into my boost targets. <laughs> I mention the turrets thrown behind us and damage boost Anna as she destroys them, which puts both healers looking back as everyone else pushes up. Symmetra dies because of it, but I'm gonna ignore the res on her because we've got enough picks that we've clearly won the fight. Plus, Ryan Zarya looked eager to continue pushing up, and I'd rather beam that, especially since they're likely to leave Anna's line of sight. Damage increase. No one's saying. This fight also looks pretty won, but I res this time because Anna says she has nano and having the second healer alive is very valuable. Like, I would feel awful if someone else died because I was already healing another. More one, more one, more one. Any pot chance. So we're coming up to the final fight, the enemy's at 0% and I have Valkyrie. I know the enemy team is likely to desperately use a lot of ults, which Valkyrie is weak against. I tell myself that unless it looks good and we get some picks, I'm going to hold off on Valkyrie, so if we lose this fight, we can initiate with it next push and I'll heavily commit to damage boost. Our Reinhardt dies and Valkyrie is better when it's hitting everyone, so that is a point in favour of holding onto it. Symmetra then dies as well. Then Anna, so I'm alone. I take out the pistol and I swear I was intentionally missing shots here, like my aim isn't quite this shit. Since I had ult ready, I didn't want to feed enemy healers by doing damage, and if I just stood still, they would know I wanted to die and maybe try to stagger me, so I just pretended to shoot. Like, I, I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna use Valkyrie once back on point, and my plan works out, but maybe I could have used it a few seconds earlier to get back quicker. Even though it was only a few seconds of mass damage boost, I actually think it was really solid. So yeah, I am happy I held on to Valkyrie. After Anna's death, I could have maybe used Valkyrie to get away because Amakri was popping off on the other side. However, Zarya was high charged, Moira was ulting nearby, my health wasn't full, and I had no fly pass to get over there quickly. I think holding onto it was the smart decision, like I probably would have died if I used it. Plus, props to Makri and Zarya for staying hidden until we got back. Anyway, there we go. Plus I got a free loot box for playing a role I love, which is pretty cool. 
If you guys weren't aware, Blizzard recently came out and said that games from the beta season are gonna matter. I personally feel they could have made this clearer earlier on, and I'm also a little confused as to why Sigma was allowed in beta comp. In the past, new heroes are blocked for a few weeks to avoid people who have never played them from picking them, so I don't know why that was scrapped. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this decision because I've been feeling a bit mixed on it personally. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to check out my Patreon, and have a nice day!